Hey there, YouTube. This is Christian Brindle, Medicare health plan expert and specialist. And today we're going to talk about, does Medicare come automatically when you turn 65 years of age? Do you have to do anything? Do you have to sign up? Do you have to apply? Well, let's get right into the answers right now. Folks, thanks so much for watching. My name is Christian Brindle. I own a company called Christian Brindle Insurance Services located about 20 minutes outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. We specialize in Medicare health plans. We work with people in over 35 states at the current moment in time. And folks, today we're gonna talk about Medicare and actually what do you have to do when you first turn 65? Well, it actually does depend on if you're drawing off of Social Security or not. And you might think, well, Social Security, what does that have to do with anything? Well, what it has to do with everything is Social Security, the Social Security Administration, I should say, is actually the party that's in charge of issuing or processing Medicare applications and enrollments. So they kind of tie together in that perspective. Now, if you are drawing off of Social Security before you turn 65, let's say you started drawing at 62, for example, you will automatically be enrolled into both Medicare Parts A and Medicare Part B. Automatically, you'll typically see your Medicare card come in the mail automatically for Part A and Part B. You won't have to do a thing. And it depends. It could be maybe three, sometimes as much as four or five months before your Medicare effective date. Now, Medicare is always going to start on the first of your birth month. So, for example, my birthday is the 13th of August. If I was turning 65, my Medicare would start August 1st. And if I was drawing off of Social Security, I could expect my card to automatically come. I'd automatically be enrolled to take effect the 1st of August. And I'd see that card come about three to four months before my Medicare effective date. Now, Medicare Part A does not cost you anything as long as you've worked in the country for at least 10 years of your life or 40 quarters, whichever you prefer. However, Medicare Part B does have a premium of about $148.50 per month at the time of this video being created in 2021. That's subject to change, by the way. So if you come back and watch this in 2022 or 23 or 24, well, that number might be different. It might be more. However, um, when you're drawing off of Social Security, that premium will automatically be withheld from your Social Security retirement benefits. So keep that in mind. It will take effect the first month that your Medicare begins. Now, if you're not drawing off Social Security, let's say you're not, you will actually have to go forward and apply for Medicare. It won't come automatically. And if you don't take the steps to apply, well, then you won't be enrolled into Medicare and you could be subject to late enrollment penalties. So this is very important. There are multiple ways to apply for Medicare. You can schedule an appointment with them to go into the office if, if, the, if the offices are open in your particular state or area. You can schedule a phone appointment with them over, over the phone. Um, it's, in my opinion, the least efficient way to do it that way though, unless you have a really specific and unique situation. The best way, in my opinion, to apply for Medicare when you're turning 65 is to go on the website. That is Social Security Administration's website, ssa.gov. I actually have a video that walks you through all of that, and I'm going to pin it here so you can actually find it and actually have a little step-by-step -step tutorial um, that you can kind of follow to actually know how to apply. And it takes about 15 minutes or so. It's the easiest way to do it. I typically tell people you want to do it 90 days before the month of your 65th birthday. As long as you do that, you should be fine. Now, you have a seven-month window when you're turning 65 three months before, the month of your birth month, and three months after. But Medicare is designed to start on the first of your birth month. So I would encourage you to do it beforehand. Don't wait too long. Social Security is not known for their speed. <laughs> so giving them as much time as possible is always better than waiting to the last minute in my personal experience working with this on a day-to-day -day basis. Folks, thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this helpful, if this answered your questions, do me a favor, like the video, hit that big thumbs up, because if you do, it helps more people like you find the video easier, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified when we upload educational Medicare videos just like this. And comment your questions that you'd like answered down in the comment section, and we just may make a video about your question. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and um, happy Medicaring.